Yes, so hello everybody, this is Ray from Ray's United and I'm back again with another video and I need you to pay attention to this particular content I'm going to tell you about. <clears throat> but before I go ahead, please, you know the drill, smash the like button, smash the subscriber button, you know, you can do whatever you want, notification, anything, share of course, share it to your people, I keep saying that, and a disclaimer, there will be no Telegram group anymore. It's gone. I'll, I've given reasons in my previous live shows. And those that know, know. So there will be no Telegram group. If you've got any questions, DM me directly. Or when I'm live, ask your questions there. Or post it in the community sections. And then I'll make a video about your questions. Edit it nicely. And you will get your answers. Don't worry about anything. Everything will be great. But hey, this video in particular is about Elon Musk. And my questions toward to him, actually. So... In the next few minutes, you're going to know my questions that I put to him and the answers that I'm going to get. I will be right back. So I'm back. This is Ray from Race United. Listen, we need to do a lot of things and we need to understand a lot of things. But in recent times, I've been getting questions from people asking me, is there any correlation between Model Pi phone, the Tesla phone, of course, and Pi network? So what did I do? I took it upon myself to do some research and ask some questions with the hope that I'll get a response from somewhere. A lot of my friends don't know that I do have sources. They think I just speak from my guts and I speak from my ass. But I speak from what I know specifically. So, hey, in this particular segment, you're going to hear everything I'm going to talk about with respect to the question. It's only one question I put to Elon Musk through a proxy. You understand? I am no billionaire. I am no millionaire. But I can hold my own. And all I can tell you is sources. You don't need money. All you need is be able to talk. And as you can see, I can talk and I can be convincing. When I come to you, I can tell you I'm going to convince you. And trust me, in the beginning, you're going to, I can't. But trust me, I will convince you. That's how good I am with convincing people to get information in the right way. No coercion whatsoever. So I put the question to uh, my, my dear friend who is a source as well. I put a, a question to him. Is there any correlation between... The Model Pi Tesla phone and Pi Network. The, the answer he gave me, you're going to know in due course. However, in discussion, what did he tell me? He told me, look, there is no smoke without fire. And there are no such things as coincidences. You understand? Here we are, Elon Musk, a fanatic of cryptocurrency. He is a fanatic of cryptocurrency. And suddenly, Pi comes out two years, two and a half years ago. And suddenly, here he comes with a phone that actually is going to use a Starlink satellite. Now, this is something that you need to know, which is going to be extremely fast. Of course, he pays so much money for it. The Starlink satellite, people pay $70, $80, lots of money or whatever, hundreds of dollars to get a faster internet. You understand? But that particular phone, Tesla's Model Pi phone is going to use Starlink satellite, of course. And trust me, the features it's got is much, much better than that of the iPhone. However, when I put the question to my source that is there any correlation, that's the word, correlation between the Model Pi phone from Tesla or uh, uh, and obviously Pi Network, he gave me a very tangible response. And obviously, he's got sources uh, that are linked with Elon Musk. You can't get straight to Elon Musk. He's the richest man in the world, if not one of the richest man in the world. But I know definitely he is first or second richest in the world. And he, this guy's got somebody that's close to him. So he gave him what he knows. And I'm telling you what I've been told, of course. Some of you can be, choose to believe. If you don't believe it, I don't give a hoot. Do you understand? I give you the information and that's it. However, 
With that being said, and everything that I've told you, if you can put your two and two together, you will determine as to whether the Model Pi phone by Tesla is, has had any correlation to Pi Network. I'll give you that response in the next segment. I will be right back. Guys, you know the drill. Stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. This is Ray from Race United. You know what to do. Smash that like button and obviously subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so and get more information like this. Now, so I put the question to my source who also has a source that is linked with um, Elon Musk's um, estate. And uh, yeah, they started talking and he asked, he put the question to him. Is there any correlation between Pi Network and Tesla's Model Pi phone? Guess what the person said? He said, there is no smoke without fire. That is the quote. There is no smoke without fire. So the person didn't categorically say that there is no correlation, but he didn't actually state categorically that there is a correlation. But you, my viewers, need to put the two and two together that is there any correlation? Now, I'm going to put my two and two together right here again in repetition to let you know. First and foremost, Elon Musk is a cryptocurrency fanatic. He moves the crypto market. Trust me, he does. You understand? I did a video about him eight, nine months ago back in March, on March the 2nd to be specific, which is nine months ago. And I said Elon Musk will join Pi Network. That's what I said. I didn't know anything then. It was more of my view, which I got a lot of views from. And then, after I did that, guess what? A lot of people subscribed to my channel because they realized, okay, this guy's onto something. Do you know what I mean? So that's when I thought, you know what? Let me start getting more information so I can put the correct information out there. So I started getting information because the information is out there. You need to get the right contacts and the right sources. I did that. So in recent times, what, what have we got? Elon Musk moving the Bitcoin market, moving the um, Dogecoin market, moving the Shiba Inu market. And then, lo and behold, his Model Pi phone by Tesla or from Tesla is going to be released soon. And guess what? It's going to have a fast satellite link using his Starlink satellite facility. Can you imagine that? So, if you put your two and two together yourself, you will realize that there is no smoke without fire. Don't play it down. Don't play it up. Just... Put your two and two together. Get your information. Remember, from all your sources and put it together. And if you want to believe it, fine. If you don't, that is your cup of tea. But don't shut it down. Don't tell anybody that they're wrong or right. That is not your per that is not your, your place to say that. Because at the end of the day, people have got information. They can put it out there and they can decide not to. You get what I'm saying? So please, just so you know. My answer to this, whether there's a correlation or not, is that I'll go with what my source said. There is no smoke without fire. So because there is no smoke without fire, don't, under, sorry, don't understate it. However, you do not have to overstate it as well. You get what I'm saying? Because the underlying fact is we are in the crypto world and it's progressive. It's progressive. So it's just very fast at the moment. Do you know what I mean? So don't play anything down take it into consideration and do your own research whatever you find put it together and draw your conclusion that's it do you know what i do i identify i observe i hypothesize and what do i do i experiment once i experiment i record once i record i analyze after all the analysis i conclude that's what I've done right now. So I've done all these steps and processes. And in my conclusion, what I will tell you is there is no smoke without fire. So in so doing, you should know that he might. There could be a link, a correlation between mobile Pi. I mean, Tesla's mobile Pi. Sorry, Tesla's model Pi and Pi Network. Because there are, there's no such thing as co coincidence. It doesn't exist. There's timeliness. You get what I'm saying? So it's well-timed. 
just as Pa is about to go into the main event, or probably we might have, depending on when I release this video. There comes Model Pi phone by Tesla, Elon Musk's project. I will be right back. Pioneers, stay tuned for the final bit of this segment. All right, so I'm back. In conclusion, all I need to tell you is, it's going to be a one-minute conclusion. I have to be exact. All I'm going to tell you is, I am with the belief that there is no smoke without fire. I don't know what your beliefs are, but I know most of you are with me. So what you need to know is whether or not Elon Musk's uh, Model Pi phone by Tesla is or has got any correlation with Pi Network remains to be seen. However, I've been told because there is no smoke without fire from a reliable source, we shouldn't count anything out. We should take every single variable we have into consideration. You understand? And in so doing, we will realize that pr probably or perhaps there might be a correlation. Perhaps there might not be. But in my opinion, I, I may sway towards the fact that there might be a correlation. I'm not saying that he's doing that because of that. There might be a correlation. So, guys, let's be one happy family and remain as close as possible. Work as a team because Pi is a team, not individualistic uh, project. It's a team project. So, let's work as a team. And be part of a team, one way or another. The name is Ray. The channel is Ray's United. And the word is... Peace! Ha 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 ha!